Hi everybody. Going to be going over my straight razor blades today in the collection or what I use for my daily ritual of shaving. First off, I will uh, begin with the high hitters. This is a sweet 7 8 Wade and Butcher, Sheffield, England. Can you see that? Almost has like a French tip, but not quite. It does protrude a little bit. I like the way this blade is shaped. I have yet to shave with this one. I will be doing that soon, so uh, stay tuned for that. Um, this particular set of scales, they're all right but they're not what I like. I like uh, horn scales or uh, other type scales. This is a, a set of hard plastics and I'm not into that. So I will probably be getting those replaced. As you can probably tell, I have, uh, I have a lot of oil on it or a light coating of oil. That's because I do that to each one of my razors to make sure that uh, they don't rust while sitting up in between shaves. This one is going right back in here. The 7 8 Wade and Butcher. You know, they really knew what they were doing back when, when they started making those razors, in my opinion. And uh, I keep them wrapped up with what's called a <laughs> it's it's called a uh, an oil rag by some people <laughs> but uh, you can actually buy these this material is coated and and I guess they actually Im embed the oil inside it tough glide this is a tough glide cleaning cloth you can buy these online you can find them at bladehq.com Several other places have them as well from Tough Glide, a Sentry company. They do an excellent job on the products they make. This one is, like I said, it's coated. I mean, it's just like, uh, I mean, I even spray it down a little bit every now and then just to be safe, but uh, it's, it's, it does the job in keeping out the rain or the, <laughs> the snow, so to speak. All right, this is my Wade and Butcher eight eighths so it's a, a little bit larger than the one he just looked at i love this razor this one is the boss and look how thick that piece of steel is right there yes wade and butcher from sheffield england and uh, this one has the horn or faux f-a-u-x meaning fake fake horn i don't know it's Someone told me that it was fa horn. This, I believe, is probably real horn, the way it looks. You can almost tell a difference. I think I can. I love this one because of the barber's notch. That's what that's called, the barber's notch. It allows you, when shaving, to reach around, like underneath the nostrils. See that? It's very handy to do that. <clears throat> And I will compare the two just so you can see the 8 eighths and the 7 eighths. There is a little bit of a difference. There you have it. 7 eighths on top, the 8 eighths on bottom, both Wade and Butcher's. Big, thick pieces of steel. But uh, this one on, on the left, my left, is not quite as uh, thick as the one over here. But both are excellent razors to shave with. I just know this one's going to be excellent. It's a Wade and Butcher. Come on. I don't have to second guess the quality on that one. I will be shaving with that one probably uh, later today. Now, I showed you this earlier. This, you may have noticed, is a frog lube <laughs> bottle. I don't use frog lube on uh, 
on my razors because Frog Lube is excellent. It's a CLP, which stands for Cleaning Lubrication and Protectant. Uh, but I'm afraid it does tend, while well, sitting up, it does tend to draw dust particles. And that would leave you with a gummy uh, type substance or film in between the pivot area. If you get it in there, then, you know, you have issues, especially with knives. So what I do is I just use this as a spritzer bottle and I fill it full of Tough Glide. Tough Glide is uh, an excellent coating product. Uh, it's also a CLP, cleaning lubrication and protectant, but it doesn't draw dust like uh, Frog Lube does. Now, don't get me wrong, I do use Frog Lube. I use it on my fixed blade knives. I coat them and then I store them. That way I don't have to worry about any of the elements getting through to the steel and causing rust pitting or anything like that. I do love frog lube, but it's just not for anything that needs to go in a, in a pivot area. So just keep that in mind. All right. I'm going to show you what I do sometimes to this cloth. Since this is a, a cloth that's been around for a while, I, I just go ahead and spritz it down from time to time. And that's all you have to worry about. Nothing major, just a few spritzes. Then I put the razor inside. And I roll it up. Rather nicely. It does a great job. I love this type of material. And then I just stick it in. Now in the bottom of this, as in all of the, uh, the containers for my razors, I do all of them the same way. In the bottom is silica gel packets. I thought I had one here handy, but I don't. I'm sorry. You all know what a silica gel packet looks like. You get them in all kinds of uh, products in the mail. It keeps out moisture. Yes, I am a, a, a fighter of the moisture issues. I try my best to keep out moisture. All right, this is a toothbrush holder that you can pick up at the dollar store, Walmart, whatever. Little of nothing, about a dollar. And this one is coated and covered with a cloth. And this is just a, uh, a glasses cleaner cloth and it does a great job as well. This is my Frodor 472. This is a sweet 7 8 from J.A. Hinkle's Zwillingswerk. Great razor, does an excellent job. And uh, it's a good thick piece of steel too, but you can also see the beautiful file work that was done on top of the spine. Can you see that? I hope that's coming in for you. It may not be clear enough, but you can, I think, get a little idea of what it looks like, maybe. There you go. Anyway, it's very handy in helping you grip it. Plus, right here, it has jimping on the bottom. Fairly aggressive, too. But it's very handy when stropping, number one, and when shaving, number two. And I apologize for the camera slipping. All right, I, uh, I normally do the same thing to this cloth as you saw me do to the Tough Glide cleaning cloth. Just spritz it a couple of times like that. Stick the razor inside. Of course, I spray the razor itself too. And in the bottom, silica gel packet. This is the process that what I do with my razors and it's very similar to what I do with my knives. Next on deck in the green, <clears throat> Sweet Dovo, the Dovo 
Prima Clang. This is a 5.8 razor. Ebony scales on it. <clears throat> it's a great razor. I wish it had some jimping on it on the bottom of the spine and on, on top it would be nice because when it comes to stropping with this thing, it's, it's a little bit difficult for me because I've got big hands and it's a 5 8 razor, so it slips a lot, for me at least. And there you have it. It's a great razor. Dovo really makes a, a lot of good razors. They really do. I also spray in the pivot area. One spritz is all it takes. You say, well, you really coat those things, don't ya? <laughs> yes, I do. <clears throat> but when you have dealt with pitting, rust pitting before, you will, you will do the same thing. You'll take every precaution like me and put the silica gels in the bottom as well. <clears throat> and that's a knife cloth, by the way, that uh, came from AKTI, American Knife and Tool Institute. So any type of chamois cloth, or chamois as some people call it, a chamois cloth, anything that you want to, to use, wrap your razors up in that, perfect. And this is my, my final razor. I only have a few, but I've only been uh, shaving with a straight razor since August. This is another one of the uh, cleaning cloths like you saw earlier, this one is, uh, of course, the uh, Tough Glide cloth. And this one, I like this razor. It was a, It's a gentleman's favorite from B. Worth & Sons. Uh, it was supposed to be a 5 8 but it's been used so many times, I think it's a 4 8 now. Yeah, it's rather small, but I have uh, dropped this razor and cut my finger with it before. But I love this razor. It was given to me as a gift from a friend of mine, Mike Baker sweet little razor cool scales too those are our bone bone scales it's coated down pretty well so I don't have to worry about it just uh, wrap it up a bit <clears throat> and it goes right in there with a silica gel pack in the bottom and there you have it <clears throat> it's rather easy to maintain when you have uh, only a few razors, but that's okay. Go to bat with these and you're going to be happy. I know I am. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Have any questions or comments, put them down below, and I thank you once again. Peace. Mm -hmm.